Dave and I'm with Alaskans for Truth and Justice and I want to talk to you about property taxes. Our property taxes used to be really inexpensive in Alaska and I was almost proud to uh, talk about how low they were when I talked to some of the people I knew in Minnesota and that's you know that's where I was from. And uh, back during the oil crunch in the 80s, they came up with a little scam because our property taxes were so low and property values went, went down so low that they weren't drawing in very much revenue. So what they did is they raised the mill rate and then when the economy went back up where houses were worth a lot more, they never dropped the mill rate back down. I bought a piece of property in 1999 and knew there was problems going on with the legal system then. And so what I did is I started filing in some affidavits to the borough, just using the plain rules of common honesty, trying to get at some uh, jurisdictional defects that I saw. One, on your tax bills, you will see they say taxpayer's name. So in law we know that we have to look who is a taxpayer, make sure that I am a taxpayer and that they have lawful jurisdiction over me. They refuse to answer the question. The second question that I had is that I know that the borough is a municipal corporation and I wanted to know how I knowingly, willingly, intentionally became a member of this corporation in order to get jurisdiction over me and my property. Third, I found that the property up here comes from a federal land patent. Then, magically, it's like it's take when, you, when a purchase is made, you got a buyer and a seller, there's new paperwork drawn up. And that federal land patent all, all of a sudden becomes a deed of trust. And I realize that the attorney is just putting that on there. So then the logical question is, what is a deed and what is this deed of trust? What is that doing? Why don't I just have clear title to my land? Fourth, when you do not pay your taxes because they're refusing to answer your questions, which obviously make you suspicious that there must be something wrong. Under the plain rules of common honesty, they shouldn't have any problem answering your jurisdictional questions. Is they'll file a foreclosure against you into the Alaska court system. And then I had originally Frank Murkowski confess to me on tape in front of a room full of witnesses that the Alaska court system was not the judiciary. So then the logical conclusion would be, where are these courts created by law? And you start asking these questions and they refuse to ascertain the truth. So immediately you know there's a big problem or they would just tell you. So to sum this up, we're going to have a meeting. We're going to provide you with the proof what I talked about, which were just a couple major points. And we have several more that you're going to just find this is outrageous and profound what's going on what we figured out and what we're going to do about it to conquer this thing so i would i would recommend that everybody and and bring whoever you can on this because the more people we have the more people that know about it they're not going to be able to get by with it and it's going to cause a, a big problem for them and expose them for what they are is deceiving the people and what happens in law is fraud voids everything